Twitter. I'm Tweeter Stewart, T W W E T E R S T E W A R T. I'm the host and your hopefully trusted guide to take you through how to get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice. Today, we're looking at projection and pace for the audiobook narrator. Yeah, we're looking at audiobook narration at the moment, over the last week or so, and for the next uh, week or so as well, as we help you be more confident and competent in front of the microphone. So today, projection as an audiobook narrator. Yeah, we've looked at loudness before, uh, but as a quick reminder that with audiobooks, especially people will be listening alone, perhaps through headphones. So talk to them with a one-to-one volume. A big narration will be exhausting for everyone. And pace. Don't read too fast. Allow the listener to see the scene you're painting with the words you're using. Obviously, the speed goes hand in hand with the content. I mean, you'll read the description of a romantic landscape more slowly than that of a sports event that's about to erupt into violence. But it's a good rule of thumb to allow visual language to sink in. Also, make sure you vary your pace. We saw before, several months ago, how we vary our delivery speed depending on the information we're giving. New or complex detail is slower. Familiar or unimportant asides are more thrown away. So if there's a fight scene, your narration and dialogue needs to be snappy and moving. Maybe the tone is heavier too. And if it's a sad or suspenseful scene, take your time over the words and the pauses to reflect the sense of the action. If the characters are creeping into a forest at night, then reflect that in your narration, speaking quietly as well. Tomorrow, audiobook character voices as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. (laughs) 